Huh. Look at the depth on that hole. That's like 13 inches. And right there, that's what came out of it. I don't know what that is. Coin of some kind. All right, guys, traveled back to a park where I've beat it to death, never found silver. Lots of uh, old 40s coins here. The school is, you know, 300 yards over there. We got a big baseball diamond, the little memorial park behind me. Lots of ground to cover, really trashy, full of bottle caps. Let's see what the Knox can do. So I beat this little park to death with the Garrett and the Macro. And uh, first two holes, two coins. That's what I found in hole number one. That's what I found in hole number two. Both of them had a coin and a nail. And I think that's why they were still here because you couldn't discrim that there was a coin there with the Garrett, even the macro, I guess, because I did this park with the macro as well. But this machine is just knocking the nails right out of the equation and saying, coin, 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 screaming at me. So, guys, hole number three, look at, same scenario again. <laughs> nail. Penny in the same hole right beside each other. I wonder what this, uh, this looks like a galvanized nail too. That's ringing up 12. Twenty-four. What I was getting was a 28 when I uh, was going over top with the soil and everything there. But again, and this I think is an old penny. Okay, so it's not as old as I thought. It's a 56. But hey, look it. We're pulling stuff. And this isn't a big park. This isn't like, oh, you missed these spots. No, it's it's got a chain fence here on each side. So you know exactly where you've gone, where you've been. And I have done this park four times. Uh, the memorial says 1938 on it, so there should be silver in this area. I've never pulled one, but today I got a good feeling we're going to do this with the Knox. 1945 American. I don't want to turn this into the penny show, but... Well, again and again and again. I mean, I'm just showing what I'm finding, guys, so don't blame the messenger, but this is what seems to be going on here. Story of uh, this memorial park. There's no way I should have missed that many coins. So fourth time through the park here, interesting results. I don't know how I missed these coins. They're not super deep, other than the fact that each one of them has had a nail in the same six inch circumference. So that's gotta be it. <laughs> just a little rain break here, guys. Uh, hopefully it's just a quick shower passing by because I had intentions of uh, detecting for a full day if I can. I don't know. It's coming down harder now. I know. Don't look at me like that, buddy. I want to get back out there too. I just don't want a wet dog. Or wet gear. Or wet socks. Well, another 1940s. This one's a Canada 1943. So the last two 1940s, this one's a 47, are in a completely different area. I've moved over, and I'm still drawing 40s pennies all from out here, so why no silver? Huh. Look at the depth on that hole. That's like 13 inches. And right there, that's what came out of it. I don't know what that is. Coin of some kind. Well, that's a weird one, guys. Nevada, 1864 to 2006 so it's a modern coin but it says the silver state and it's ringing up a solid 26 above ground so is that a silver quarter some kind of commemorative state quarter that could maybe be silver i don't know i'll have to research that when i get home and i have no idea why it was a foot underground what is this look at this Ringing up 30, 35, and it looks like glass. I don't know what that is. Now my curiosity is peaked. <laughs> okay, that would be a first for me. 
<laughs> An old headlight. Huh. I wonder what kind of car that was off of. Sealed beam, made in the USA, and then there's a 42. Is that the year? And it's a Ford. That's what it says right there. Cool. Okay, so the old school is over there. It's just on the other side of this, these bushes. When I was a kid, there was no fence here. And the North River runs just down here. Look how open it is on the other side of this fence. I think I'm going to walk back around 200 yards down to the opening, go around, and I'm going to go in the bush because when we were kids, that's where we played. There were trails all through there. Kindergarten, grade one, you know, back 1980, and uh, all the years before us, there was no fence here. And you know, none of us ever drowned. Safety, geez, in the modern era, I'm telling you. Eight foot fences? <laughs> Probably for the better. <laughs> we used to go back there and throw sticks and rocks and push the odd kid into the river, so. <laughs> well, now that I'm in here, it's not that open. I guess I have to keep going. It's actually all swampy mud behind me. And it's not open. Not not very good for swinging, but I'll I'll keep going here. I can see three of those pudding tins right here in a seven foot radius. It just seems to be where they're just throwing all the junk over the fence. So maybe it's not a good place to, to detect. Yeah, just junk. The bush is full of junk back here, so. Starting to rain again, too. Well, not the most exciting morning, guys. I'm out of time right now, but uh, this afternoon I might be able to get out for a couple hours again, so maybe we'll try a park in town. Hey, guys. Uh, a couple hours to kill, so I looked online, found some in-town parks. Not exciting stuff, but uh, we're going to try it anyway. Go down by the river here, which, uh, you know, 30 years ago when I went to school here, the trail was here, so maybe silver. So it was just out there in that open field, and uh, there's a river down here which has a trail further down, which we used to walk. You know, it's probably half a mile long, the trail. So that park out there is full of pennies and whatnot, 70s pennies. Nobody's detected it. It's right full. But uh, I'm going to walk the, the edge of the river here and see if we can find some, something older. So I just bushwhacked through that, uh, dug some little pieces of aluminum siding and other junk rang up real high 30s and I got a 21 here right along the edge of the river so no idea what that is but let's let's find out yeah I should have known these aluminum caps they ring up 21 every time so I've made a little friend here she thinks I have food or something but <laughs> oh here comes the rest of the herd <laughs> No, I don't have any bread, guys. I didn't bring any food. I didn't know you guys would be here. Oh, friendly, gonna come right up to me. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, I don't have any food. Sorry, girls. Beautiful day for a swim, though. <laughs> there are times when I am ashamed to be of the human race. The whole edge of this park is covered in so much litter, I could fill bags. I could probably fill eight garbage bags just along here with, you know, the crap that's blown here. People are such pigs, man. Ooh, the LCD quartz. Marvel of technology back in 84. Yeah, so here's the uh, trail that I wanted to do. Probably nothing old here, but I don't know until I try it, so let's try it. Hey, I wasn't expecting that. Fishing lure. <laughs> and it's been there quite a while because the hook is rusted right off of it, so. It's the horrific tale of six packs and no survivors. That's a Mattel 1973. All the pennies I seem to be getting down here are 70s as well, so. Well, there's 45 minutes worth of trash, and there's what I'm keeping. 
I just consider these trips like donating my time, cleaning up the park for 16 cents.